All right, welcome everybody. On behalf of the governor uh, and all the folks involved in the flood recovery effort on behalf of the state of West Virginia, welcome everybody here today. A great day because we've got an opportunity right before Christmas to take care of a family uh, that was impacted significantly by the 2016 flood. Uh, we're going to run through the agenda here pretty quick to uh, help make sure we get everybody out of the rain. And we're going to start out uh, with Walter Crouch from uh, ASP for the opening portion of our events. Walter. Well, I tell you, this has been a, a long time coming, but we are so happy to be here today and uh, be able to... Uh, give this home to John and Grace, um, wonderful couple who uh, have shown that not only do they uh, love what we're doing for them, but they love people and they love Jesus Christ and that's the most important thing. And uh, what a great family to be able to uh, build a home for. I know there's a lot of folks here that we should recognize and uh, because of the way the agenda is going to work today, we're going to try to just push on through. But uh, I do want to point out uh, our volunteer group that worked here, our CPS folks, our Mennonite friends, uh, where they were under the tent over here. Where are you guys? Raise your hands. They, they don't want any recognition, but they did a great job. And do pray for one of their members. They had a, an automobile accident. He was injured. He was fly, flighted over to Charleston and is recovering, but uh, do pray for him. We have our folks from Grand Furnishings here uh, who have throughout the flood have done an incredible job over in Hope Village, every home, uh, they, uh, they furnished every home, they're here, they uh, did some furnishings for uh, John and Grace and we're so thankful for them and they're going to work with us in the next few homes in the, in the flood recovery and so thank you all for your work always, you guys just do great work, thank you. And then we have different county and state uh, officials here, and uh, you know we got a laundry list, and we're never going to have an opportunity to go through. But thank you all so much for the support that you do. Um, at ASP, we are a Christian organization, and so first and foremost, we always want to give glory to Jesus Christ for everything that we do. Uh, uh, the hands and feet of Christ built this home. Uh, we may have had the the wonderful privilege of being part of it, uh, but we just got to build a house, and. Uh, and the house, uh, unless the Lord builds it, is built in vain. This house was built with Christ at the center and thinking about John and Grace. And so, John and Grace, this day is about you all and your home and our Lord Jesus Christ. So thank you. Now, we built a house, but it's not complete. It's finished, but it's not complete. It won't be complete until it's a home, until you move into it and make it a home. Just like all of us, we're all supposedly temples of the Holy Spirit and our house isn't complete until God's Spirit comes and dwells within us and so when you dwell in that home I hope it's a place where God is seen and felt each and every day and that you can truly make it into a home and where your family can prosper both physically emotionally and spiritually so God bless you on this day what I'd like to do now is just have a prayer of dedication and then we'll go on with our program and then I have a couple presentations, though, to make to, the, uh, to John and Grace. So let's pray together a prayer of dedication for this home. Lord God, we just thank you for this day uh, in the midst of the rain and the weather to be able to celebrate just the joy of this occasion. We thank you so much for John and Grace and their family. Lord, their perseverance uh, now for a couple years as the flood washed out the foundation on their last home and Lord, now we have an opportunity to have a, a, a home that is built with a solid foundation, but not just a solid foundation, but is built on the solid rock of Jesus Christ, and we thank you for it. Our prayer is that we dedicate this home to you first and foremost, and that as the family lives there, that they will make it into a home where there is love felt each and every day. So Lord, bless John and Grace and the family, bless this home. Uh, Lord, we give it to you. You use it in their lives in the future. I pray this in Christ's name. Amen. 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 John, could I have you here a second? I, I got two things I want to give you. Grace, if you wanted, you can step up here. The first thing I do want to give you is a, a Bible. It's engraved to the Harris family as a reminder um, of the work that's been done here. And you'll see uh, inside, uh, you can you know, put this this occasion is uh, commemorated there and 
So we hope that you, in uh, the future, as you look at this Bible, uh, remember what God has done uh, through all the volunteers, through all of our subcontractors, through all of those who work, and that the word of life as it indwells in your life will indwell your home as well. So God bless you with the Bible. And in this... Isn't as important as the Bible, but it's pretty important. So you're getting home. This is actually a certificate of occupancy. It shows the house is finished. You have this. It's dated uh, December 19th, yesterday. And so this shows your house is complete. And as soon as you get the keys at the end of the day, you get to move into your home. So God bless you both. Thank you so much for all you've done. Thank you. All right. Quick introduction. Uh, Jenny Ganaway is the executive director of West Virginia VOAD. Jenny and I have worked side by side from the very beginning days after the flood. She and her caseworkers, I mean her caseworkers are just amazing. The work they do, they draw alongside of these families and they show them love and support and care as they go through all the paperwork and all the things that have to be done. And Jenny has done a great job of organizing casework through the original part of the flood and now as we move through this, uh, this part of of the flood recovery. Jenny and her group is doing a great job of working with the cases that are still out there. So Jenny's going to come up and say a few words. Jenny Ganaway, Executive Director of West Virginia VOAD. Jenny. I think today shows that when the whole community comes together and works together, good things can happen. And um, we began our journey with John and his wife uh, back in early 2017 when Robin Williams became a case manager for, for the family. And when I met John this morning, I know we've worked a lot for you on the backside alongside Robin, but he said Robin had been the backbone of his journey. And, uh, and that is what case management's about. It's about bringing everybody together. We couldn't do it all. ASP couldn't do it all. The National Guard couldn't. But when we all focus on the family and come together, then good things can happen. Uh, I know the long-term recovery group here in, uh, White, in uh, Greenbrier County was a big part of helping in the beginning and turned their case over to us. A lot of the voluntary organizations helping with temporary housing, furniture, getting you what you needed there. It's it's a it's good to see today where we are, where we came from, where we were, and where we came to. But it took all of us working together, and it took all of us keeping our focus on the family. So I'm really happy to be here today to share this day with you, and and to look around and see all the people that was involved in in this process. It was great. So, um, congratulations. Merry Christmas. All right, we, uh, we have uh, representatives from uh, Senator Capto and Senator Manson's office here today. Uh, they've been exceptionally helpful with us with uh, working with HUD. Uh, which I will tell you is a bigger bureaucracy than the Department of Defense. Uh, but uh, on behalf of Senator Capto, Mary Elizabeth, if you would please come forward. Good morning, Governor. As uh, Jenny just said, when I get a call from Walter Crouch, General Hoyer, or the Governor's Office, I know good things are happening. And this is just a continuation of that. It is such an honor representing Senator Capito today. I bring her remarks. Governor Justice, General Hoyer, Walter Crouch, and distinguished guests, thank you to Appalachia Service Project for inviting me to participate in the dedication of the, new, of the first new home built in conjunction with Rise, West Virginia. Although I'm unable to be with you today, I share your joy as you dedicate the first new home built as a part of this important collaboration between federal and state governments and the amazing folks at ASP. In the two and a half years since the historic floods, I've continued to witness countless acts of kindness as neighbors have helped each other recover and total strangers have volunteered time and donated money to help rebuild our communities. The progress in Greenbrier County would not be possible without the hard work and skill of ASP and its many partners and volunteers. I would like to thank CEO Walter Crouch, Flood Recovery Coordinator Chris Schroeder, and their team for their dedication to our complete recovery. 
Additionally, I would like to thank Governor Jim Justice as well as Adjutant General James Hoyer and the West Virginia National Guard not only for taking over the management of the Rise West Virginia program, but for your tireless work in the days and months after the flood. The work you do for this state is unparalleled and very much appreciated by all of us. Finally, congratulations to John Harris and Grace Duncan. You've endured a lot in this process of rebuilding. I hope you enjoy your new home and, thank, and that you always remember the wonderful people who built it just for you. Thank you again, Governor Justice, General Hoyer, the National Guard, and ASP, and its members for delivering a truly special Christmas wish. We have so much to be thankful for this holiday season, and I'm thankful for the honor of serving you in the United States Senate. Sincerely, Shelley Moore Capito. Thank you. <coughs> And on behalf of Senator Manchin, Allie, if you would, please come forward. Hi, good morning. I'm honored to be here on behalf of Senator Manchin. Unfortunately, he was unable to join us this morning, but he sent me with a greeting he wrote, and I'd like to share it with you now. It is my distinct honor to welcome those attending Rise West Virginia's dedication of the first new home in the program for John and Grace. This is an important day, not only for Charm Co. and Greenbar County, but for all West Virginians who were devastated in the 2016 flood. Time and time again, we have seen West Virginians rise to the occasion to help each other in times of need. That is one of the many things that makes our state so special. In the years since the flooding of 2016, no amount of kindness has gone unappreciated, and the strength of our citizens has been an inspiration to the entire nation. This home was built with outstanding community support, and I hope it is soon filled with fond memories in the days and years ahead. I applaud Governor Justice and his administration, Governor Tomlin, the Rice West Virginia and Appalachia Service Project teams, as well as General Hoyer and the National Guard, local volunteers and churches, our first responders, and all who have played a role in rebuilding the affected communities. Thank you, and God bless. I hope you and your families have a healthy and happy Christmas season and are looking forward to a hopeful new year. With warmest regards, Joe Manchin III. Thank you. All right, so our, our next speaker, actually I first started working with him when he was just Jim Justice, and about four days after the, the flood, uh, he called and asked if we could get together and he could understand what needed to be done for the state of West Virginia to recover from the devastation. And I saw him put, as Jim Justice, I saw him put his heart and soul into flood recovery and taking care of people, and I've seen the same thing as governor. And uh, I will tell you a quick story. On June the 4th, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, my wife and I were enjoying the afternoon <coughs> driving down the road, and my phone went off, and I answered the phone, and the person on the other end said, can you be in the governor's office tonight? That was a Sunday <coughs> at 6 o'clock. And my wife looked over at me and said, you know, 6 o'clock on a Sunday night, nothing good is probably going to come of that, right? <laughs> uh, but I would tell you that a few weeks ago, she reminded me that something good did come of that. And Governor, I appreciate the confidence you have in the National Guard to take things and move it along, but more importantly, the work that you've done to take care of the people of the state of West Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, Governor Jim Justice. Well, General, thank you. And there's too many people here to name everybody and thank everybody. But, uh, the General and Jenny standing right behind me are absolute superstars. That's all there is to it. Now then, let me tell you, we all know the devastation of this flood was unbelievable. And we all know now it's been two and a half years almost. A long time. There's all kinds of things that we should be doing each and every day, first and foremost, we should keep all these people, all these people that are not only have many loved ones, but they're our loved ones too. We should always keep them in our prayers. You know, it pleases me so much to hear the Christian influence that's on this house. You know, but 
let's go back. <laughs> let's just think just for a second. Along this way, we all waded a lot of mud. We all did a lot of stuff to try to help wherever we could help. There was people, there was families, there was their processions. There was so much devastation. The worst that I have ever seen or ever been involved with in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And then along the way, we even discovered improprieties. And we had to do something about it. If we would have just kept plowing down the same course and everything, we wouldn't be here today. So that day is the day the general's referring to. And he came and we said, we've got to plow another course. And we've got to plow a course with the Superstar. And so we did. We plowed a course with the Superstar, the National Guard and our general. And he got us on track to really going. And Jenny was right there, backing everybody up, and lots and lots of others were right there. But today we have results. And today we have John and Grace and Emily and Eli in a new home. And it's Christmas. It's a start. Sometimes these things take a lot longer than they should. Everything takes longer than it should too many times. But thank you, General, thank you, Jenny, from all of my soul. Nothing, nothing touched me as much as this flood. Nothing, nothing in my life have I ever seen as tough as this. You know, I mean, we all identify when someone loses a loved one. We all identify when we looked for Michaela Phillips for six weeks and that family, we couldn't even find her. Six weeks. I said it over and over. It's not saying it to get any sympathy or credit from you, but I can't tell you the prayers that I prayed as I went back and forth to the Greenbrier and all that uh, devastation over there that just some way, somehow <laughs> I could see her. Just some way, somehow I could see her because we knew this wasn't going to end well. And all I've prayed many times is just some way I could see her and I could take my coat and lay it over and wait on the people to come and help me. You know, that family needed to find her. Now we all know that. And we all kind of could easily forget what is stained in my memory forever. And that is just this. People carrying all their possessions, all their memories, all their pictures, photo albums, everything, out in the street and throwing it in a pile, mud drenched. And then the National Guard would come along as they should, and, and they had to, with an inloader and pick it up and throw it in a truck. And off it went. It's tough. It's really, really tough. Now, so many people suffered. Today we have something to celebrate and we go forward. But I mean this when I tell you that I love you. And I mean this when I tell you that our General and Jenny and others are real superstars. God bless this family and God bless your children. And God bless the opportunity that we have to stand here with just this little bit of rain and be a little uncomfortable today. God bless you in every way. Thank you. Bye-bye. If I could, if we could get John Grace, Emily, Eli, the governor, Walter, and Jenny up front here, we will do the official key ceremony. Don't run over Jenny. If you run over Jenny, I'm in trouble. I can't get anything done. <laughs> Walter, I will turn it over to you. Well, and I'm going to turn it over to Chris. Chris is our flood coordinator. You all know Chris better than you know me. And he, the privilege of handing these keys over and all that, I think, should be his. So, Governor, let Chris, you guys hand the keys over. Let's go. Let's go.
Well, may God bless you. Here's the keys to your home. Uh, we might want to make sure that these all, Let's the press gets their shot. Let's yeah. <laughs> you have to come with us. Come on. We're going to do this together. All right. You guys All right. All right. Well, this concludes our ceremony today. Governor, we want to thank you for coming and blessing us with your presence being here. Uh, as John said, there's a lot. We hope to do this over and over again in this coming year for more and more families. John, thank you. Grace. Lord bless. Thank you all for coming out today. Uh, press, hang around, wh whomever you want from the homeowners and stuff, we can get with you after. But God bless you, and uh, let's try to uh, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Lord bless. Thank you. <laughs>